Hello everyone, welcome to Informa's Special Image. My name is Prophetess Informa. Today I'm going to teach you different methods or different means you can use candle and do prayer and you get quick results. Number one is this candle now. You want to do back to sender prayer. You want to do, you want to reverse affliction back or dryness back, poverty back. Or you want to return whatever arrow the enemy have fired in the realm of the spirit that ordinary eyes cannot see. Whether eyes can see it, whether eyes cannot see it. Sickness, eyes can see it. Maybe you have started feeling it or you know. But some, you cannot feel it, but you have sheep. You can't see it with ordinary eyes. You have started having signs of it that things are not moving the way. You can still use this prayer to return it. Whether your marriage, the tie down, whatever enemy have done. You get you go to market and buy candle. It must not be yellow candle, it can be white candle. When you buy candle, this is the mouth of the candle. You cut from this mouth of the candle, from this this from this particular place, you cut it off. You cut it off from this particular place and level it, make the under to be make the make it to be equal so that it can be able to stand. You cut it off from here because you want to do prayer. Pray of back to sender. Return something back to sender. <coughs> I'm sorry. When you cut it off, you make it to be equal. Make the under to balance well so you can be able to keep on the ground. It will stand. Then you are turning the mouth to become the under and the under to become the mouth. When you get the under of this candle, you sharpen it by the side. Sharpen it. This small rope under, you make it to come out very well so that you can be able to lighten it up. Put lighten it up. So when you sharpen this side, turn it to become the on on the mouth, and make this mouth to become the under by cutting it off from this edge. Then you anoint it and bless it. But this can do. You can use it and do prayer. But to send at the moment you cut it this side, both this side, prepare both this side and this side. The next thing you will do is that you write your name. Freedom. A freedom back to sender. Whatever. I don't know what you desire. Favor. Any affliction the enemy has sent to me in the name of is there any affliction the enemy has sent? affliction back to sender. Freedom. Favor of money. Healing. Whatever. Deliverance. Whatever you desire, you write it. When you anoint it, because you have anointed it, the moment you write it, you use nail or needle to write it. When you write it, you are blessed it. Power it with your power of spoken word. God has given you authority in your mouth. You power it. Whatever you power this can do to be, it will be. Olden days when God gave them instruction, give Moses instruction how to prepare Israelites, their ark and all that. You will know that there is candle there. God said, prepare candle for this. Lighten it up. This keep it so, so, so place. Even olden days they are used candle. That's why you wash out the white garment churches. They normally do olden days pattern. White garment, all these white garment churches. They normally use the pattern of old old pattern, Moses pattern. You see? Because that time God tell Moses, gave Moses instruction how to build ark, prepare ark. He even gave them instruction how to lighten up, where they will keep candle, where they will lighten up candle. So there is power in putting up candle. Then when you lighten it up, when you prepare it, finish, you lighten it up. You prepare yourself as somebody that wants to do prayer. Then you go to where you want to keep this candle to stand. You first put olive oil around. You bless the ground. You first put the olive oil down, around. When you put the olive oil, then you use salt, put it around. You salt, put around after the olive oil. Then you put the candle at the middle of it. Because I put the olive oil and put the oil. The, you command this olive oil, whatever you want, as this prayer wax is going on, that nothing will make this prayer not to work, that no power will hinder this prayer at the wrong line. As this olive oil is around this candle, world, so shall this heaven smell the smell of smell smell of your prayer. Bible say, when can kill Abel? When can kill? Say God say he hear the smell of his his brothers, the blood. He hear the smell. There is kind of prayer you do. Heaven will hear the smell of your prayer. So 
because you have charged yourself and you prepare yourself in a way that heaven will hear the smell of your prayer. You begin to pray and say, God, whatever enemy have programmed into my life, whatever enemy have done, whatever they have, anywhere they have turned my life upside down, any affliction they have prepared from shame and disgrace. Father, as I have turned this candle upside down, as this candle wax is melting, let this, let that thing return back to sender. Whatever shame, disgrace, affliction, I don't know what you are passing through. Maybe affliction was so much that enemy wants you to be mockering to others. Or enemy want to design poverty and say that this poverty is your portion. This is how you will turn that poverty back to sender. You begin to carabash that you are no longer accepting poverty in your life. That poverty has no power over you. That this that this candle wax is turned upside. You turn whatever enemy have done against you or your family or your health or your business. You turn it every eyes monitor. You blind them because you have turned this candle upside. You turn those things back to sender. You renounce and you denounce. As you are doing that prayer, you wash out and see the way the frame, the frame of the fire is going. If the frame is going straight, that means there is no disturbance. If the candle wax is melting and the frame is going straight, no disturbance. But if you notice that when the, the fire is coming out, there is something like a hindrance, there is a blockage, there is something like a delay. The fire is not coming out as it's supposed and, the, and there is something like breeze. That means there is an attack. You have to quench the attack that is power that behind you know to receive answer. You have to rebook the power and silence the power force. Then if you notice that this, when the fire was coming out, you are hearing a sound from this candle. Ta -ta 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 -ta, something like this. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Ta -ta that means there is another force. And this particular force is easy for you to detect. That means it's power from the water. That is how to detect it. So you monitor your prayer, whether the prayer is going or is not going. If the prayer is not going, as far as there is no fan, they are blowing the candle. And the candle wax is not, the fire is not moving, the frame is not going straight. That means that they straight. You rebook any power attacking my prayer. Rebook them so that when you do the prayer, we get results. So I'm taking that just pray and pray. Monitor your prayer in the realm of the spirit. And watch out how the flame is going, how the fire is coming. Whether there is disturbance, whether the fire is doing like this. Meanwhile, there is no air is entering the room and there is no fan. That means something is waving your prayer away. Something is battering with your prayer, the smell of your prayer. That is how. Another means, again, you can use prayer, can do prayer, can do to do prayer, and you get quick results. But this turning upside down, it work very fast. Don't say it, not said it work very fast. Anywhere you go, if you want to say, be bold and say it, that it work very fast, because I am sure. The second prayer you will do is that you can get this candle prayer, this candle to three into three different places. Let's say this candle works that is standing before me now. You can get like three or like five or like seven. Depends the kind of prayer you want to do. If in a foundational point, you can get like seven. But if just finance, you want to break through, restore your husband, maybe with one chic. Wow, design straight bullets have collected your husband. You just shoot your husband once, collect your husband from you or your fiance. You can get it like three or one. You get a rope, this straight rope. You tie those, bring it like up to three different, the same color. You bring that candle. You prepare it down. When you prepare it down, you bring the rope and tie it from tie it here. Because it's into three, you want it to work together. You bring it, join it together. You tie rope like here. You bring another rope, you tie it like here. But those three can do will be together before you tie everything together. When you tie it, because you have prepared it. What I mean by prepared, you have anointed it and blessed it and power it and prepare for your prayer. Then you begin to speak. You begin to speak whatever, maybe favor, maybe you want to bring your husband back. Maybe they are holding your husband. He said, as this candle wax is melting, and nothing stop this fire not to go up. Everything that belongs to you, collect it. Whatever enemy has stolen from you, whatever that belongs to you, begin to pray, child of God. Pray seriously. He said, as far as this candle wax is joined together, so you gather all your blessings. So you gather everything that belongs to you. 
or whatever power that want to scatter your marriage. You see, as far as this candle was is tied together and three of them is on, so your marriage will keep on stand. There no power will steal your husband away. There no power will scatter your marriage. That's why I say depends what you want. Maybe the business is not going. Your money is scattering. You will, be, you will not see the money. You are doing business. You use, you use capital. But you are not seeing the capital in the business. So shall you as you have tied this and scandal was. So that they lighten up the shop. Lighten up the money. Every power that is stealing your money does. Making your money to go away. Power any sham. Anything they have done. And this candle was. Is, let those sham be destroyed. And as this candle was is tied together. So shall you gather your money. So shall this business grow. You begin to pray whatever your heart desire may be five is the number of grace that's why i say you can bring it to this stick candle into five five is the number you will ask god for the grace because five is the number you can bring it to seven to deal with foundation too but foundation is what you will be on fast you can't do foundational prayer without fast anybody that tell you do foundational prayer without fast, that person is a lie you know your foundational prayer is can't do you want to do it you'll be on fasting so that you connect and go very far when you speak the idol that have been there for many years ago friend yeah, fourth generation yeah great grand great grandfathers whatever sham they have concluded there whatever demon they have handed over say take over to wash over me wash over my children today you tell that demon you are no longer in i'm no longer in agreement with what you and my father concluded don't wash over me I'm no, I'm now for Jesus. I belong to Jesus. You begin to prophesy, I begin to pray. So shall you renounce those powers for your foundation. Tell them that today you have accepted Jesus. You begin to pray. Foundational power that hold me down, hold me in area of my marriage, hold me in finance, hold me in area of conception, whatever. I bring it affliction, whatever any man or woman are using power of foundation to do. If you want to do foundational power, make sure the candle is up to seven. seven. Maybe your case is a serious case. That is when the candle will be up to seven. Or you buy one big candle. But it's better you buy one big candle. I will be honest with you. One big candle that will stay like two, three days. And if I can be able to reach the sand of your foundation, fine. But if you cannot reach the sand of your bring sand in a Lagos. Put it at the front of that candle. Anoint it and bless it. Use it as a contact to reach your foundation. That is different ways you can use candle and do prayer. There is another miss again. I will teach you. You will use candle and do prayer. You get a quick and fast result. But that will be next time. God bless you. See you in my next video. Thank you very much. Please love, share, and subscribe. My phone number is plus two three four eight one three one six seven seven two one six. I appreciate you.